Check one, two. Check one, two. Is this thing on? Apparently not. I'm Sean David O, and I'm your host for Yakima Now. We're here on the Budweiser stage at the Central Washington State Fair, a sure sign that fall is slipping into the valley and seasons are changing. In this edition, we'll take a look at the music scene and how it's changing in the valley. We'll take a look at some new venues around the area and some grand old structures that are taking on new life. We'll toss it out to a round town with Mike Brown. Mike visited with Wayman Chapman at Performance Park, and we got his take on the music scene in the Valley. All right, well, Wayman, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Pleasure to be here with you. All right, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate this. Um, so let's obviously talk about the first thing that we got here. My dad gave me that. It was just it was something he had just laying around the house. And you know, that reminds me of my mother having me out in the driveway with uh, my school patrol uniform on, <laughs> with a trombone and a guitar wrapped around me, acting like I was serenading a, a family friend, Helen Newborn, by the way. Okay. And uh, in the driveway, and I, and I look at that picture and I go like, that is about a corny picture right there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when you asked me to bring down the guitar today, I said, yeah. uh... I, it just brought back that that thing. It wasn't, it wasn't a bad memory or nothing like that, it's just yeah. like, that's corny. Yeah, you know, yeah. Why did you have me do that? You know? <laughs> so I thought I would bring down the generic guitar with the same strings on it that it had. This thing is wore out, but yeah. that's a piece of my history right there. So we talked about the performing. You prefer to perform inside or outside? Uh, outside in the summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's clarify yeah, that, that, right? That, that kind of works for me, you know. Like, I love outside stuff, you know, like some of my. Uh, I'm playing at Natchez Heights right now. I played that last night, and it's just okay. a beautiful place to be. That's yeah. kind of one of the the things of the park here. You know, I mean, you yeah. you always, you know you are a center of attention, but there are people milling around, yeah. getting yeah. food, and, yeah. and what have you. So just for people to congregate together and have conversation and yeah. enjoy some food and just take a break and stuff. I think it's a real good thing you guys are doing with that and stuff. Good. You know, and some musicians in Seattle starting to look at Eastern Washington come over here. You know, good. because there's less. Less venues over there, and so uh, they, they tend to want to come. You know, just like this is, this is a great place to be in the summer, you know, and then Seattle kicks in in July when you actually have good weather and stuff, and mm -hmm. everybody wants to do stuff, but we have it kind of year round, which is uh, is the thing that, that really sets this, this, this valley apart from, you know, most people just think about the big city and that sort of thing, but right. it's, it's uh, we have a good thing going over here with the, with the weather and stuff, you know, and the beauty of it and stuff. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. I appreciate you uh, sitting down with me. appreciate yeah. you talking about this. I mean, this is a great thing. And, yeah. And uh, look forward to seeing you again perform somewhere around here. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> All right. I plan on doing it. Good. All good. right. Thank Th you. Thank you very much. All right. Appreciate All right. it. All right. Thanks, Mike and Wayman. And now it's time to take a little break and enjoy one of my favorite things at the fair, a Young Life sandwich. So we'll be right back on the Yakima Now. Be out there. Be out there. Be out there. Be out there. Time was, kids did what came naturally. Spending free time running barefoot through the grass, wading knee deep in streams, climbing to the tallest branch. But today, American kids are more likely found texting, watching TV, or gazing at a computer screen. They spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. Something essential has been lost. Childhood's connection to the natural world. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Kids move indoors causes a host of problems, from obesity to ADHD. But outdoor play can go a long way to improving kids' health body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity and attention spans, and could even make them better students. Do your part. Be a part of Be Out There. There's a reason why they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be Out There! Next, we'll leave the fairgrounds and visit the Seasons Performance Hall where our own Ken Crockett visited with Miss Ellie Strassel about what it takes to make an old building like this reborn again.
It's how well that sound travels at the seasons in downtown Yakima that sets it apart from other entertainment venues. Originally built for an entirely different purpose, the historic century-old former church building has divine acoustics, especially for jazz and classical music performances. However, the acoustics can be both a blessing and a curse, says Ellie Strassel, Director of Operations. When we have people in here that are not even using microphones at all, um, it can sound phenomenal. So naturally, the, the acoustics are just incredible. Um, and for chamber music, and for jazz, and for anything that doesn't work, and folk music, and some, like, some pared down um, blues or rock, it can be an, an incredible acoustic venue. But then again, because of the way the room is shaped, um, we have, again, challenges when we go into amplified music. Since the building was purchased by her family in 2005, The Seasons has undergone numerous reincarnations on its way to becoming a major music venue in the Yakima Valley. And the mission of the organization is to continually promote music, to continually promote music education, to, to be a cultural hub in the valley. But you still have to do that and run it as a successful business. So you have to be willing to listen to a lot of input and you have to be willing to hear um, what people around you are saying and what the community wants to see. Strassel says the music scene in Yakima is definitely changing and the seasons and other outlets are helping create a show culture for performers in the Yakima area. And when we talk about other people doing shows, to us, to the seasons, it's not a competition. It's all about creating a show culture. And we have the downtown series, we've got the Cave, we've got Bail Breaker, we've got the Seasons, we have Gilbert Sellers, we have so many people doing really amazing work and that's just gonna start creating an economy where more musicians can come and actually support themselves here in the valley. Thanks, Ken. I've spent some interesting time up on the season stage myself. No pictures, please. Coming up next on Yakima Now, Cheryl Ann Matias shows us what's in style at Gilbert Sellers Cave Tasting Room and Amphitheater in West Valley. But that'll be after a short break on Yakima Now. Be part of the solution. If you see an area in Yakima hit by graffiti, call the city's graffiti hotline at 575-3550 or report it using the Yakback portal on the city's website. Yakima is our community. Be part of the solution. We live in the age of mobile devices. Cell phones, tablets, digital cameras, laptop computers, and a thousand others. They help us get where we're going. They keep us in touch and informed. They help us work and play. And they all use rechargeable batteries, millions upon millions of them. But these batteries aren't just rechargeable, they're recyclable. Together, individuals and businesses have recycled over 70 million pounds of batteries and cell phones. A network of over 50,000 free drop-off locations across North America makes the process easy and convenient, no matter where you live. Recycling these batteries keeps them out of community landfills and also preserves their materials for use in new products. We all enjoy the freedom that mobile technology gives us. Let's accept the responsibility to pass that freedom on. Find out how recycling works, how it helps, and how you can answer the call to recycle. Visit calltorecycle.org. So Yakima is no longer the place where there is nothing to do. In addition to Gilbert Sellers downtown, we now have what's called the cave. So how did the cave come about, Jessica? Well, we, uh, this is our wine production facility out here in West Valley, and so we needed some additional wine barrel storage. And we were inspired by the wine caves of France and oh. wanted to have something like that here and save a little on energy costs as well and have a cool area to store our wine barrels here um, at the Hackett Ranch. And what events do you have planned for the cave? 
We have done about three years of a summer music series out here. So we're just wrapping up the summer's activities and we had a great time. We had up to 300 people out here. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it was really wonderful. It's our biggest crowd ever. So we're looking forward to summer 2014 and a, another series of shows. Super. And so when we get to the wine barrel tasting, we'll be able to drink it straight from the barrel out here. Yeah, Spring Barrel has been a great opportunity for us to invite people out. Um, we've just done tastings by appointment or the, you know, three, four, five events we've done mm -hmm. out here over um, the course of the summer. But I think summer 2014 will be much bigger for us and we're going to try to create some other opportunities for people to join us out here. So Jessica, how does this add to the Gilbert Cellars experience? Well, we're really proud to have the tasting room in downtown Yakima where everything's happening. We're going to be part of Friday nights and all of that excitement down there. But people also want to experience the source of wine, the grapes, the process, the barrels. So we're really happy to share this cave with them and the Hackett property where they can come and listen to music, see the vines, and learn a little bit more about how the wine's made. So it's a great connection point for people in learning the entire scope of what um, wine means and what it can be. Cheers. Cheers. So thanks for joining us in Yakima Now on the InStyle segment here at the cave in West Valley. You can come out and enjoy the music, taste the wine, and you get to be a part of seeing how the process is done, how wine is made, and drink it straight from the barrel. Thanks for joining. Enjoy. Be part of the solution. Volunteer yourself or your group to help during one of this year's Yakima Community Cleanups by calling James Scott at Yakima Refuse, 575-6745. Yakima is our community. Be part of the solution. Well, that's it for this edition of Yakima Now. And we'll ride off into the sunset and sing happy trails. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and find us on Twitter. And visit www.yakimawa.gov for all of your city service needs. And that's it for now on this edition of Yakima Now. Hit it, CJ. As Town Square Media, we're very pleased in working with the city of Yakima. They've been very accommodating and they've also been innovative. And the city's looking to partner with anybody that has a good idea, wants to do events, wants to have programming in downtown like this. A great band, it's a nice night. I've had a number of people uh, come up to me and say this is the neatest thing that's happened to Yakima in a long time. This is one of the things that I'm going to look forward to every summer from here on out. It's nice to be able to come out and have a free venue where we can enjoy the community and enjoy good music and talent. I think it shows a lot of growth as a community, you know, one that wants to bring everybody out and uh, make a difference, you know, in each, everybody's life, you know, bring them together like that, yeah. All right, ticket number 778778. It's fun. I'm getting really spoiled. I like uh, I like face painting to live music now. <laughs> We're on to something here. You know, people are coming down and uh, coming here for an hour, then going to have dinner somewhere else. So it's getting them comfortable coming back downtown and uh, having fun at the same time. If you have questions about featured segments on Yakima Now, please contact the City of Yakima Community Relations Office, home of YCT and YPAC, at 575-6092, or email your comments to yakima.now at yakimawa.gov.